Well, typically, because we're making so many movies, we're dealing with post-production, pre-production, actual production, and delivery all at once. So right now, for example, we are casting a movie, we are getting the scripts together on three other films, we are um, delivering a couple of movies, we have two movies premiering at Tribeca this week, and um, we're, we've got a couple of things that are in way pre-production that are just in development. So today we will be, we're sending in revisions on two scripts. Um, luckily there's nothing left to do except for enjoy Tribeca so we don't have to deliver anything here. Uh, we get to do interviews with fun people like yourself. And, um, and we're in the process also of delivering a movie, which is funny. In film school they don't teach you how difficult that is. Actually, it's one of the hardest things about filmmaking is getting all of the pieces. It's not just here's the movie. It's here's the movie. Here's every contract. Here's every single piece of you know insurance and everything that you need to, to get the movie out there. So it's a lot of elements. Do you use crowdfunding? We've only used crowdfunding so far on one movie, which will be coming out next year. It's called Chuck Hank and the San Diego Twins. Uh, the guys that did Bellflower, which was a breakout out of Sundance last year, uh, this is their follow-up film. It is a crazy action movie, sort of set in a, it, inspired by 80s video games, those old side-scrolling video games. Um, the movie's going to be amazing. Uh, they raised $130,000 um, on Indiegogo, and that is a great place to start. Uh, the Indiegogo team, who I've met with a couple of times, are super supportive of independent cinema, and it does seem that that is the a piece of the future of financing. What's interesting is that the SEC has just approved new laws, I don't know if you know about this, but they've just approved new laws and guidelines so that it doesn't have to just be donation based, but actually people can now invest using Indiegogo. So they get a piece of the profits. Up until just a couple of weeks ago, they had to give you the money. And you're like, thanks, here we'll give you back a DVD or we'll give you a signed poster or whatever. Um, but now they can actually be profit participants. So if the movie makes money, they make their money back, and then and then share in the profits, which is really how it should be.